So I have a missionary pursuing me, and I'm talking about a Mormon missionary. It gets even, and unfortunately some of y'all have seen the comments on my videos and stuff. Escape New Jersey, he once identified himself as Jewish, and he's a Mormon, and I'm sitting there going, wow. Okay, first of all, this guy is trying to basically proselytize me into a religion that is inherently anti-Semitic and British so-called Israeli and I mean on every stinking video and then I shouldn't say every stinking video that way but you, you know what I mean and then it's like you know what the heck and you know I guess in some ways I get the sense about how some non-messianic Jewish people feel when they hear about Christianity and messianic Judaism and Jews for Jesus but there is a difference the difference is if you really look at the scriptures you will find that Jesus that Jesus is the Messiah Jesus of Nazareth or whatever you want to call him and the Mormons also, you know, obviously besides being white supremacist and all that, the Mormons also add to scripture and take away from it, and I could go on about that, but that's for another discussion, and um, I have my latest blog entry on it, and as for Harold Rivera, I'm pretty convinced by now that he's become an anti-missionary who has been really influenced by the Union of Reformed Judaism because he is so anti-death penalty and as I said before he had the chutzpah to compare Andrea Yates to Casey Anthony and oh Andrea Yates gets a pass because she's more religious and spiritual and stuff and then he talked about how he was going to do the benefit for the JCC and I just had to sit there going as I said before wow that was really that was really anti-missionary and I did not expect that coming from Geraldo and even last night when he was arguing with Janine Pira about this one statue it just it really really surprised me I guess and I'm just hoping that Geraldo and there goes my computer it almost froze by the way but back to the point I'm just hoping that Geraldo gets away from the um the influence of the Union for Reform Judaism because obviously the Union Reform Judaism and you know many non-messianics are complaining about this it is no longer the ideal that it was supposed to be and even back then it was more tolerant of you know Christianity and Messianic Judaism not completely but there were a lot of Reform Jews and even still today there are a lot of Reform Jews who are becoming Messianic because at least ideally reform Judaism is supposed to be open to other ideas and also many by the same token though many reform Jews because of where reform Judaism is going and where non-messianic Judaism in general is, has been going are suddenly you know trying to hear more about Jews for Jesus and they're beginning to wonder you know wow and I mean if nothing else I guess the I guess the one guess the one Judaism in terms of non messianic Judaism that I've seen make any attempt to be open and more tolerant and realizing what it means to be chosen, as some other people pointed out, is that, you know, we we who are Jewish have a mitzvah and a responsibility and it isn't all we get to, you know, hold our noses up high and just do whatever. We were chosen for a reason for responsibility and you know with privilege comes responsibility and privileges are given because of responsibility.